Hey y'all, so I'm making my first film wig. It'll be for Tiny Tina from Borderlands 3 trailer. There has been one cosplayer that I've seen so far that has actually created this wig and it looks amazing. I will have her listed down below. This isn't much of a tutorial other than just being my thought process in creating this wig. I've researched some tutorials on like at least how to get started on it and I know the head base will be different for everybody as well as the length a little bit. So this will be just creating the base, creating the hair pieces, and painting the wig into the style of Borderlands. So I just did the first step, which is making a mold of my head or a pattern to cut out um, the foam that will be replacing this. This is just cling wrap and some masking tape to make the pattern of my head. This first head base that I made actually did not end up turning out as good as I wanted so I tried again and the second try ended up being my actual base. This is the first layer of the hair for the bottom of the wig. Some of the pieces are doubled so they can be filled with polyfill and they will be sealed shut with some hot glue. I've been working on this for about an hour and a half now. Um, got some of the top pieces of hair in. This We'll go here, I have just two pieces in the back right now, I've got another one that's going to go here, and I think there's going to be two or three more right there. Everything for the most part is glued down except for these pieces where I have the pins at the top, just because I want to be able to paint under them before I glue those down. So you can tell that the bottom layers of hair have been filled with the polyfill. All of the hair has been cut out, marked, and placed where I believe they should go. They are all mostly glued down. This top part is also filled with polyfill. I tested the color underneath that I have just to see if it would be good as an overall base. Here I have the base color completely down and the pink starting to create an ombre effect. With the paint here, I have this darker pink that I'm pointing to at the back, comparing it to this lighter pink in the front. Um, you want to get that kind of dimensional look with it since the hair is not all one color. So here with the flash, you can see I'm pointing to the yellow lines that are kind of harsh. I'm going to be toning that down with the base color. So as I just said, here I'm painting in the base color that I started the wig off with to tone down the yellows and the pink just to give it more of an ombre effect. So you can see how I started with the pink here, very light handed, and then I went kind of heavy with the lines and the darker pink, and then I tried to tone that down with a lighter pink and take away some of the yellows and bring back that base color. Here I'm showing the underneath of the wig and the base color to the pink color is way too harsh, so I'm gonna go back in and make those colors kind of ombre into each other. So here you can tell that the color is now not as harsh and it's a little bit more blendable into each other. Here I'm showing the black band that I made, painting it, being very careful not to hit any of the base color on the actual hair pieces. Now I'm pretty satisfied with the color of everything, the way everything blends into each other, and I'm going to be starting on the black outlines for the hair pieces.
here is pretty much the finished product, finished details, outlines at the bottom as well. Now there are a few spots that I do have to fix. Got a little markings right there. Little markings like that um, I have. And I'm also gonna redo the band. I also went in with some white paint just to show some highlights. Not on all of the hair pieces, but just some of them. I put magnet inside of the mask and on the headband so it would be easily attachable and the ears are attached with velcro. Here's the final look of the wig with the ribbons, mask, and ears attached. I used hot pink ribbon here because I wasn't sure how to use foam to circle around the hair pieces. So I'm bringing you closer to see all the different colors. There's some grays, some taupes, the darker uh, tan color, and the pinks, how they all blend together. This is my first time actually doing Borderlands art style, especially on a wig, and I think I did pretty good. Here's me trying it on for the first time, and I have my hair in a mesh cap like you would for a wig. Thanks for watching. This is my first time ever doing anything Borderlands art style and my first foam wig ever. Like I said at the beginning, this is just a guideline of how I tried to create it and how I painted it. And I hope you get some tips. I will have a video of my full Tina cosplay probably in September at my next convention.